Hello everyone and uh, welcome to motionhub.net In this new After Effects tutorial we will be making some flying text So let's get started Don't forget to subscribe and uh, follow me on Instagram at motionhub.net and uh, here you will find um, what kind of things or uh, next tutorial I'm working on This is me by the way and this is the master uh, Andrew Kramer. You can ask me any question here about After Effects by clicking uh, here. You can type something and I will answer you or make a tutorial about the thing you want to know. I'm here in After Effects and uh, we will start with the small text and uh, just to see the techniques and how it works. And then we will make the this final composition so we can get um, a faster preview. So I will start with a new composition and uh, I will hit OK. Now I will right click new solid and uh, this is our background. And then I will click on the horizontal type tool and with the left mouse button pressed drag a rectangle. And uh, here we will add our text. So I will add, uh, let's say, subscribe to my channel for more After Effects tutorial ok I will select the text and uh, I'm working with the Baskerville old face and I will adjust the size maybe something like this and uh, I will set the text to justify last centered or maybe just centered I will align the text here so now we will select our text layer then I will open the text layer I will click on this little arrow animate and then we will enable our pre character 3d okay so now we will add another uh, property which is position and uh, now of course nothing happened so uh, it's better to set it to quarter for a faster preview now let's move to the tool first of all we added we set the text to 3d layer and we added our uh, animator one and uh, here we will open the run selector let's go to the beginning of the timeline set a keyframe here in the offset and then let's go to something like two seconds and i will add 100 percent we will add some movements here in the position to see the result so whatever you change the values here it will move regarding these um, values so we can animate in um, x y and uh, z space let's go to the advanced and we will change some settings here to make it look better and i will change the based on to character excluding space and then Let's change the shape to ramp down. Now let's change the ease low to 100. Let's click on the random order and we will get this uh, kind of effect. Now I don't want to move my text to up and down. So I will set this one to zero and uh, I wanted to go something to the left and uh, in the Z space. So it will be like this. Now let's set the end to 35 and I will go here set this one to minus 50 now let's go to the Z position and I will set it to minus uh, 5000 for example and uh, let's see there is something else you can add here like select the animator one and uh, click on the add and uh, select the selector wiggly and now we will get this kind of uh, wiggly effect so maybe it's nice to make another tutorial how to make a wiggly text like this okay and of course you can change the settings and uh, let's say you can change the max amount to 50 the minimum amount to minus 50 and the wiggle wiggle per second maybe one and uh, it will be like this and just play with the settings here and you will get some uh, nice effect nice wiggly effect okay so I'm not uh, going to use this one 
and this tutorial so we will keep it simple like this and um, now since we are happy with this result we'll make our final composition click in here composition new composition and I will hit OK again I will make new solid hit OK and this time we will activate our title action save I will add some uh, guides and to activate these rules of course you can uh, hit ctrl R or go to view show rules okay so I'm making some kind of uh, columns like this and now let's uh, bring our text and I will uh, go to Google News I will copy this text Control C I will go here and uh, with the left mouse button I will drag a rectangle to add my text and then I will hit Control V and I will reduce the text size again I will go here let's close this one and uh, maybe 40 and now I will set the text to justify last left if you want to make it centered or um, fully justified justify all I don't know depends on the concept you want now let's animate this uh, text and for that let's go back to subscribe to my channel and uh, I will open this uh, layer and select the animator one be sure to be in the beginning of the timeline and uh, hit ctrl C go here to comp far and uh, hit ctrl V now we have uh, if we hit U in the keyboard we can reveal the um, keyframes and we have our text moving let's add our uh, text here and I will um, hide this layer I will click on the horizontal type tool and I will write words I will uh, make it bigger let's unhide the, this layer and I will uh, align it to center and of course we need to change the anchor point with the pan behind tool and with the control uh, button pressed on the keyboard drag it to the center I will select this um, text layer and hit ctrl D I will drag it to the right and again I will hit ctrl D and I will move it here and this time just double click on this uh, text and move it to the right and then I will move it up and again ctrl D and I will move it down and that's fine okay again I'm uh, working with uh, quarter quality because it takes too much time to render uh, so we can set it to full to see the result this is our uh, composition now let's add a uh, new camera right click new camera and uh, 24 millimeter I will hit OK and then right click on the camera and then camera create orbit null it's better not to touch the camera it's better to uh, modify the null object and uh, what this will does actually he will give us a uh, camera link it to null object if you change anything here the camera will follow the movement okay so now I will go to the beginning of the timeline again I will change it to quarter mode and I will set a keyframe in the position here 
and uh, let's go to four second and I will change the camera to 1500 so let's see our animation we need to set the circle to the center of the composition of the camera and for that I will open the, uh, my uh, null object and uh, I will go to the last keyframe using shift key and uh, before that maybe I will uh, adjust the anchor point and I will change it to something like this minus 30 and then 20 maybe 15 minus 25 perfect so now we will get this uh, kind of uh, nice zoom in I will select both keyframes and uh, hit F9 to make it easy ease and then let's uh, open the graph editor by clicking here and I will select those keyframes and I will move this one like this to change the speed and uh, maybe this one here like this and let's see the animation and before we start the animation I will uh, solo this uh, layer only and it will start like slow and then go fast we can change it to faster I will exit the graph editor again I will open the null object and uh, I want this word to start rotating in uh, something like two seconds and I will uh, set a keyframe in the Z rotation and then here go to the last keyframe and I will set it to maybe 36 okay let's change it to the other side like minus 30 and uh, again F9 and let's move it one second fine so now I will unhide all the layers and let's uh, run preview this of course it will take some times so of course you can uh, select all the text paragraph and uh, let's change the these keyframes here and then again I will set an easy is F9 okay Maybe we can add that uh, wiggly effect just to see what will happen here and uh, for that I will select the first paragraph and uh, I will select the animator one and uh, add wiggly and I will change it to 50 minus 50 and I will set the wiggle to 1 and uh, I will select the wiggly selector control C control V control V control V this is what you will get with the wiggly effect of course you can play with the settings thank you so much for watching and see you in another after effects tutorial